Hey guys, welcome to this video. My name is John Watts. I'm a consumer protection lawyer, and I found a recent article under myfico.com, and the title, as you can see here, is Seven Common Questions About Collections and FICO Scores, and this is by Tom Quinn, and we'll see who he is at the bottom of this article. But it, it's an interesting article because there's a lot of confusion and questions over, well, what does a collection do to my credit report? What does it do to my credit score? And a lot of times people ask us about, well, what about my credit score? And I've mentioned this in other videos. It's like, well, which credit score? We're talking about FICO score, Vantage score. If we're talking about FICO score, which FICO score? There's multiple different FICO scoring models. And so we'll see some of that in this. And I hope that you'll find this interesting. And I'll put a link either in the description or maybe a comment below uh, to this article so you can read it. And also check out the other things here on my FICO. So these first few are, are pretty straightforward. And particularly if you watch videos, you'll uh, be familiar with this from other videos on our channel. But it's just a, you know, what is a collection? And it says uh, the lender, a company, uh, may sell that to a collection agency. Now, uh, they don't just sell it, okay? It may just be assigned. The original creditor may still own it, but they assign it to a collection agency. It's all the same thing here. And then what's third-party collection? Uh, it says that's made by a collection agency outside of the original credit uh, company, so the original credit card company, mortgage company, whoever it might be. And so here's a really important part. It's question number three. How do FICO scores consider third-party collections? And this is just mission critical to understand this. It differs based on what scoring version you're looking at. So if it's older than FICO score eight, then any collection will be considered negative. Okay, so if we have a FICO seven or six or five or four, all that's going to be negative. Now, if it's an 8, 9, or 10, then it tends to ignore the small dollar third-party collection. So that's less than $100. So, I mean, I've seen people with credit reports and they'll have half a dozen $25 copay type collection accounts on there. Well, 8, 9, and 10 will say, we're not going to look at that. But if it's uh, 9 and 10, then there's an additional logic put on it. And that is to ignore any third-party collections that are paid in full. But here's the exception, at least according to this article. And I've heard kind of contradictory information, so I'm not sure. It says, but unpaid medical collections with a balance are still considered negative. They have less impact in 9 and 10. So put all that together. If it's eight, nine, or 10, and if it's under 100 bucks, they don't count it. If it's nine and 10, and it's a paid collection, now remember, they don't count below $100, so we're talking about a paid collection over $100, then that's not going to be counted. And if it's an unpaid medical collection with a balance, that's going to be negative, but it generally has less impact, okay? And then it says here, uh, first party collections are still treated as derogatory and not afforded these special treatments. So what's a first party collection? Well, normally that's Chase or Capital One or, uh, you know, your auto loan company. Third party is when it goes to a different collector. And then he says, well, paying off the balances owed on my third party collection increased my FICO score. And as you can gather from that previous discussion about these different models, it says that's going to depend on other information in your uh, credit report and the FICO score version that you're reviewing. So if we're talking about an eight or older, paying off a collection account will not have a positive impact. But with nine and 10, paid third party collections are not considered negative. And so... Uh, paying them off, it says, could increase, okay? And so the idea is, let, let, let's use a practical example. So you've got uh, enhanced recovery. They're collecting a T-Mobile or Sprint or some kind of cell phone bill, and it's 500 bucks. 
Well, that's above that $100 amount. So it will be calculated into your FICO score. But if we're using a FICO score 9 or 10 and it's paid off, then generally that will be ignored. So ignoring a collection account, which has a negative effect, sort of stated differently, that's going to raise your score. At least it typically will. So here's an interesting thing. Does the balance report it? And the answer is no. It does not impact on a third-party collection. So this is why we've said over the years, a $50 collection account, just from a scoring standpoint, tends to have the same effect as a $5,000 collection account. Now, it may impact you in other ways, but from a FICO scoring, the balance doesn't matter, okay? Except, again, these more modern FICO scores, if it's below 100 but if it's $500, 5000 50000 it's the same impact on your credit score. And then does FICO, let me just highlight this, consider whether third-party collection balance is paid in full versus being settled for an amount lower than the initial amount? And the answer is, settled third-party collections reported with a zero balance will be treated as paid, okay? At least in the FICO score 9 and 10. So sometimes we worry about that. We say, well, look, uh, you know, it's a $300 account. They tell me if I pay $125, then they'll count it as paid. But it'll say settle for less than full amount. And what this is telling us is that at least in 9 and 10, it doesn't matter. Whether you pay a dollar or you pay 100 cents on the dollar, doesn't matter. It'll be treated the same. And then how long does the collection stay on the report? And... This will be seven years from the original delinquency date of the original debt or the date of the first mispayment after which the account was no longer brought current. So we sort of, we look back in time and we say, okay, you know, at some point we stopped paying. Well, let's go back to that very first payment and then generally going forward seven years, okay? And technically it can be seven and a half years, but generally they use seven years as the mark here. So this is by Tom Quinn and says he's vice president of business development for FICO, 25 years experience. And I think this is a good article. It doesn't answer every question, but it's not designed to answer every question. But I hope that you found this helpful. Definitely check out this My FICO. Uh, let me see here. If you go to this blog, and I'll try to pull some of these other blog posts or articles that I think will be useful. Uh, but they put, you know, a couple up every week and uh, there may be some good things there for you. So appreciate you watching this video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye-bye.